Hello, we welcome you to our next tutorial and we want to show you today uh, monitoring of field bus and field devices using uh, FTT components and TNH products. And these products will be in practice, the TH scope for diagnostics and a TH link as gateway and the DTM library from Traving and Himstead and field care as uh, FTT components. And this is the use case for our practice demo today. We have on our machine installed the Traving and Himstead DTM library and the TH scope and the field care FTT frame from Anderson Hauser. Uh, we use a couple of TH links installed in the different Profibus DP networks. And to come from Profibus DP to Profibus PA, we use the transparent coupler SK3 from Pebble and Fuchs. And on the other hand, the DPPA link as a non transparent coupler from Siemens. And then we will show you how to diagnose Profibus PA devices using this infrastructure components. The TH link is monitoring the Profibus DP network and will notify you proactive about some problems in the network. Uh, then you can open the email and you will find an email in the uh, link. And following this link, you will be forwarded to our TH scope application, and there you can see exactly what problems are detected on the DP network. On the diagnostic list, you can see that the DP slave on address 5 causes some diagnostics information. And then we can move to the error statistics overview. And there you see the DPPA link as a non transparent coupler and all the yeah, available PA devices behind the DPPA coupler. And in this case, we have one PA device on PA address 10 with diagnostics. That's what we display here in error statistics. That's only what we can see because the coupler is intransparent. And going back to the diagnostic list, we get a clear message um, from the DPPA link that the PA slave 10 uh, has diagnostics. One option to check this PA slave could be the hardware configuration tool and for this reason I will go to step 7 and uh, go online to this particular device, PA device and um, yeah, we'll see what kind of diagnostic information I can get out here. And what I see here is a slave specific diagnostic information, that's all what we see. That's not more we have seen in our TH scope and that means we need to find other ways to go deeper to the details. And this is the point to move to an FTT application for deeper device diagnostics. We will use in this case field care from Andrews and Hauser. And as we have opened the application, we can see our pro project. We know exactly which TH link was uh, giving us the diagnostic information, so we can choose the right strand here and go via the COMDTM from the DPPA link to the Andrews and Hauser PA device. Uh, in this case the ITEMP. Using the context menu I can uh, go online now to the device and um, will open the online parameterization to use the DTM from this device and uh, what you can see here very clear is a diagnostic information sensor break. So that means we have a exact information what the problem is and uh, the DTM the device DTM provides a lot of functionality, so you can open here the setup and uh, see the different configurations and what types of sensors, and in this case it's a two-wire sensor and we have the information sensor break, so it's very clear um, how to solve this problem on the device. Also in our second case we will get an email information from our TH link and you will find in this email again all the diagnostic details the information which network is uh, the problem and uh, again the link to our diagnostic list and you see here again the information yeah, what happens on this DP network. In this case we see a diagnostic information from our SK3 on DP address 5 and uh, going deeper into the network structure we see the PA devices on PA address 10 and 12 behind the uh, SK3 because it's a transparent coupler. The devices are in good status with green icons, but the uh, advanced diagnostic module, the ADM from SK3, is telling us some diagnostic information with a yellow yellow color. So um, it's the station address 5 on DP network used for the ADM and to get this information from the SK3. 
Going back to the diagnostic list, we see the diagnostic details, ADM segment maintenance required and ADM segment out of specification. And with this information, we can go further to the FTT application to solve the problem in detail. We open again our FTT application, our field care, and uh, we choose the other one, TH link, because we know exactly now we have the other network with problems. We see the PA devices behind the transparent coupler, and we see the DTM from the advanced diagnostic module from Pebble and Fuchs. And we will connect now with this DTM to go deeper in the diagnostics on the segment. So via online parameterization, we open the DTM, the diagnostic DTM from PNF and see all the details. And the message here is segment one diagnostics and uh, the segment is out of specification. We can go deeper showing details and uh, then the DTM will provide the detailed information about the root causes for the problems here. And what we see here is uh, segment signal level too high and one of the possible root causes could be a termination fault. So we get a list of possible root causes for these problems. And uh, this termination fault is the right message in this case. So we switched off the termination to uh, simulate this error. I hope you got an idea how easy to use the device diagnostics um, with TH scope and DTM library and our TH link you can monitor the networks and will get proactive information about some problems and using the same infrastructure and the DTMs from other vendors and the FTT frame from other vendor you can uh, work really detailed on device diagnostics. In case of more questions feel free to contact us via phone, via email or go to our website t-h.de for more information about the products and the use case.